the unthinkable happened. No more Russell Westbrook, right? <laughs> they trade away Russell Westbrook in a package that ended up bringing back um, D'Angelo Russell, another Russell, if you will, from the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, who I, who, I, who I believe would be a far better match with LeBron and, and Anthony Davis and company. Because unlike Russell, Russell Westbrook, D'Angelo Russell can actually shoot the ball and actually makes decent decisions with the basketball. So, Jared, let me stay with you, brother. If you're a Laker fan, how happy are you with Russell finally, Russell Westbrook being finally shipped out of town? I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> I guess as a Laker fan, I'm happy because that was just a disaster from the word go from what you were expecting it to be if you were a Laker fan. However, any sane basketball person – saw that trade and thought it was doomed from the start and there was maybe one way it could go right and the rest were just going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's great to have him out. And I think I made the comment last night to you guys that the the trade was essentially a get-out-of-jail-free card on the Russ trade, what, what all they were able to recoup and didn't really have to give up too terribly much to do it. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree with that. Uh, what say you, um, Kevin? I mean, I didn't think the Lakers would be able to do it. I think they had to part with that was the 27, 2027 draft pick. I don't have it in front of me, but um, I think Jeannie Buss finally gave uh, the green light to GM LeBron James and company to make the move to ship Russ out of town. I'm, I'm just curious to see how the Lakers do. Would this put the Lakers – how far – Kevin, do you think the Lakers could go as currently constructed right now, post Russell Westbrook? Oh man, um, you know they're they're already in a hole. I mean, what are they sitting at? Was it twelfth or thirteenth? Look real quick in the in the Western Conference. Um, they're sitting thirteenth in the Western Conference right now, twenty five and thirty. Um, you know, and I I kind of figured at some point we would address this. And I was, I was kind of trying to think through my answer um, before, before coming on. And, you know, honestly, I think I, I like a lot of what they did. I mean, what they did is, is awesome, but I also think like it's a steep climb right now in the Western conference, not that, you know, not, not a steep climb to like say the ninth and trying to get in the play in like, that's, I think that I, I definitely think that that's feasible, you know, getting somewhere, picking up, you know, look at where they're they're at right now. Thirteen games back. You look at the eight seeds, nine and a half back. Um, you know, can they pick up? You know, four games. They they definitely can. Especially, I think the roster now is is built so much better around LeBron. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, I think you know, and and also you, you, Westbrook was, a, and it was a Dave McMinnon um, said someone described him as a. Um, vampire that sucked the, the life. Yeah, blood. I saw that. <laughs> uh, and so that was hilarious. I think him being gone is going to help a lot, but I mean, the West is, the West is talented. I mean, there's right. we talked about Dallas. We talked about Phoenix and then in front of those two teams, there's three other teams and, you know, right below there's those teams, you know, there's another five or six teams that, that are all talented teams. I, I think in, in terms of this trade, though, um, I think in, in terms of your question, I think they can get to the play. And I think that's for me, that's the ceiling. I don't I don't think that they're going to be competing for anything higher than that this year with the hole that they're in now. Uh, it's, as a big LeBron fan, as I as I am, I hope I'm wrong because I would love to see him uh, make another deep playoff run or two in his career. Um, if the Lakers can can build a roster around him that uh, is capable of that, I just don't know that this team right now, with where they're at mid year, is capable of it this year. Mm. Well said. Um, I'll say this, man. I'll stick with you, Kevin, for a minute, and Jared, feel free to, to chime in. I like the pieces that the Lakers brought in. I really like what people are now talking about. Or is Jared Vanderbilt? I really like him. He's he's a he, he, he's a good young scorer, something that the Lakers need off the bench. Um, so to your point, Kevin, I agree, because the Lakers sit, currently sit 13 games out. 
uh, but only two games out of the play-in, which is the Tennessee, which is currently being occupied by the Portland Trailblazers. I give them a purchase chance, but, you know, I kick it over to, to Jared, actually. But, Jared, I think this is this is LeBron's new reality, right? You got an unhealthy Anthony Davis. You got a team that's gotten younger. And you know spring chicken. And yet you see all these teams in front of you. It's going to be a hard nut to crack for LeBron for the next how many ever years he's playing, maybe whether it's two or three more seasons. Uh, you know, this 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 is reality, man. Just playing for, just playing, working hard for a, a playing spot, even next season when when he, everyone gets a, a fair start. I still don't think they're they're top six or seventeen in, in the West. You never know what comes in the off season. Um, right. You know, you were able to <clears throat> break up Russell Westbrook. You'll be able to clear up a little bit of money in the off season. Just from some of the contracts that you have are going to expire. And then you have some guys that you can deal that aren't on massive contracts that can actually equal up to, you know, once you add salaries together can, equal out to if you want to go the route of another star player, you can go the route of another star player, or you can just bring more people in that aren't minimum salary players. I mean, veteran minimum players are veteran minimum players for a reason. You'd have to go seven for seven on them with the way your team's constructed and they went one for seven. So it's, um, <coughs> it opens up avenues, just having Russ off the, um, off the books. So do I think this is his new reality? Not necessarily. Like there are ways this is Los Angeles. There are ways to upgrade now. I mean, there were ways to upgrade before, obviously with you saw, for example, the, the Russell trade, but now you have a couple of different ways you can go to better position yourself next year, this offseason.